In our previous video, we walked through inserting data into our first database in Android Studio in the emulator. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at the SQLite browser and we're going to see how we can view some results in our database. We can't change them, but we can view them and we can make some queries that we can run against them. So this is the SQLite browser, which is a freely available browser. Um, sure, I'll go ahead and click on the Windows EXE. Actually, I'll click on the 64-bit version. How about that? While that's loading, and that will take just a moment, I'm going to go over to the Android emulator. I'm going to take this thing called Plant Places DB, and I'm going to click the floppy disk with an arrow. If you don't know what that is, that's a floppy disk. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, just a moment here. Um, I'm going to put this under... Uh, I'll put it under, it doesn't matter, uh, desktop, how about that? Okay, uh, and so I'm going to say planplaces.db, and that's going to save it now out to my desktop. It's just taking this file from the emulator and saving it onto the desktop. Okay, let's see how our download's coming. Uh, looks like it's still downloading, uh, so we'll give it just a moment to finish downloading, and then I will install it. We'll let the... Uh, let the 64-bit version load. Okay, it's saved, so I choose open, and I'll go ahead and install. Doesn't take too long. Click through a couple, click through a couple screens. Uh, sure, that's fine. SQLite Browser 3 and install. Run DB Browser for SQLite and finish. And you see that I did pause a couple times when it was installing. Honestly, though, it took about a minute or two. It wasn't that long at all. We'll give it a moment to come up now. Okay, SQLite browser has opened. I choose Open Database, and I'm going to run back to my desktop. And the Plant Places DB I saved off earlier. And you see, sure enough, look, here is our table called Plants. Browse data. We see 13 Circus Candidensis red buds. Execute SQL. Select star from plants. See, it auto-completes for me. Where genus like tick percent uh, circus uh, percent tick and actually I could just do an equals on that if I wish and run and we see it returns all of our plants because they all have that genus circus now let's say we're common like redbud and again the percent and the tick is a uh, wildcard operator they're all redbuds now what about eastern uh, which of these have the name Eastern? We see only one. Okay, select star from plants where GUID equals 1020. I'm expecting my Appalachian Red, and sure enough, there's my Appalachian Red. Where GUID is uh, 83, and there's our Eastern Red Bud. So this is a good place where we can verify the data that is in our SQLite database on our device, on our emulator, and we can also test out queries that we want to put inside the DAOs. So, oops, oh, sorry. So uh, we can't change anything because we just are dealing with a copy of the database, but nonetheless, it's a very functional thing that we can do. Uh, in our next video, what we're gonna do is we are going to Query for, we've been querying for Redbud so far in our GPS of plant. We're going to change that query term to something like Red Oak or just the word Red. And we're going to verify, so here's our query term. We're going to verify that we're only adding new rows to the table that don't exist. We're not duplicating any existing rows. So we'll catch you at the next video. Thank you.